So this video is going to be a little bit different than some of the multi-rotor stuff I've done. I decided to go ahead and purchase this uh, tough wing, flying wing, 32 inch. And I'm going to do a build video that kind of shows how this thing goes together and then I should demonstrate a maiden flight. And ultimately the goal is to uh, hook it up to my Ardu Pilot flight controller and do some autonomous missions with it. So. Uh, I've been doing a lot with the APM 2.5 and my quadcopter, but now it's time to see how it performs with a flying wing. The tough wing is manufactured right here in Texas, and the good news is uh, there's a decent build manual that shows how to go through the process. And you can see that it comes with the wings made out of EPP foam. Have our speed controller. Our micro servos, prop, motor, a lot of Hobby King stuff here. This is the uh, prop drive, 2200 kV motor, a bunch of mounting gear for our motor and prop, and then prop adapter, and then some different rods or spars that we're going to mount uh, in our wings. The first thing I did was I took the two wing pieces and put them together with this rod and used some CA glue. I have this is medium CA that I used and then I also it's recommended to use this uh, accelerator, CA accelerator. It helps that uh, bond cure really fast. So next up you'll notice the rod here and the rods on the side to support uh, the flying wing. I'm going to use thin CA glue to fill these grooves and with that we'll use the CA accelerator just to help the process along and you'll notice I also have a little bit of wax paper underneath just so this uh, doesn't stick to the table. Here you can see the motor mount plate and we're actually going to mount it with some medium CA glue to the top of the wing. So put CA, medium CA on the underside of this, stuck it down and then I use masking tape just to keep it nice and snug. Okay next up we're going to install this hatch. It's actually one piece that you need to score and fold just like that. So we'll go ahead and pull it through. Right there, bend it down. Okay, next up we're going to glue the bottom side of this uh, hatch down. Now in the directions it recommends taping this down and kind of wicking thin CA around the edges to get a nice bond, but I'm actually going to deviate a little bit. And what I'll do is, I'm going to use medium CA, go around the edges, glue a lot right here because that's the surface area where this is going to go. So now our hatch is glued, secured, ready to go. Now let me just stress the importance of getting this thing nice and uh, bonded to uh, your wing because it provides a lot of structural integrity uh, to keep these you know, pieces together and just, you know, it's kind of the centerpiece of your wing. And on the front or on the top we have the other end of the hatch and we'll actually velcro, put velcro on both sides and on the top and then you'll have a nice hatch to open and close. Okay so for the bottom, the velcro that's going to stick to the wing, I'm actually going to put a, just a little bit of medium CA kind of around the edge and then we'll go ahead and place that down. While we're letting our top hatch cure go ahead and proceed with the uh, assembly of the mo motor mount. So there are basically five of these wooden pieces and they're actually nicely labeled. Top, bottom, and both of these side pieces are labeled, have their top labeled. So 
We'll, we'll use CA, medium CA to glue these together. Top piece, it's gonna go nicely on the top. And we'll glue all that together and that'll be our motor mount that sits uh, within the wing. Okay, our motor mount is glued together. Now, quick tip, this was a little difficult to hold and with medium CA glue, uh, keep in place. So what I did is I mounted, I basically glued the sides to this back piece, sprayed a little accelerator and let that dry and then I glued the uh, top and the bottom with a little bit of a CA accelerator and let that dry as well. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our motor mount and we'll slide it into the slot on the wing, just like that, so it fits nicely. And then what we'll do is to actually get it to bond, we'll wick thin CA all around these edges, top and bottom, and then let that dry. Okay, now that our motor mount is glued, we're going to use this 3M77 spray adhesive to spray each wing side, front leading edge. So we'll spray kind of in front of the electronics hatch and then the leading edge on both the top and the bottom of the wing. And after we get that adhesive going, we're going to follow up just with about an inch um, on the leading edge of the top and bottom of the wing uh, with this packing tape. Now the manual actually recommends strapping tape, you know, the tape that kind of has the fiberglass strands in it. Well, I was unable to find any of that, so I got just heavy duty packing tape, so that should do the trick. Okay, now you can see that the packing tape with the 3M77 adhesive is on the leading edge of the wing, both top and bottom. Now I'll be honest, working with the tape and the adhesive has probably been one of the most difficult parts of this build. And the Tough Wing kit comes with these two nine gram servos. And you'll notice they'll just fit nicely into the servo slot on this wing. We'll kind of wire uh, the servo lead into the electronics bay. And we'll do that for both sides of the wing. You can see that I've just temporarily placed the servo and the servo lead on the wing on both sides. And I'm just doing that temporarily so that we can get everything connected and in place and then we'll actually put some uh, CA in these slots and, uh, with a little bit of a CA accelerator. Okay, right before we glue anything in place, let me just show you kind of the servo setup so we it's a little bit tricky and wanted to just demonstrate it so you obviously have this control horn that goes into your um, Elevon setup and it's just a little wood piece and you actually have a little notch in it that will go over the actual spar that goes through this flap okay and so what you do is you get that in place and then we'll actually glue it down but you know, I wanted to get just the linkage set up before I actually do that so I wanted to just show you guys that real quick how that looks get a little accelerator going and then we're good before I do the other flap I'll just show you this little piece for the uh, the servo control rod slips in there and then you actually tighten the screw down on it so you actually just kind of put it through and there's a little nut that you put on one side and then we'll glue this guy into place so once again we'll just drop some thin CA on both sides a little accelerator Okay, let me point out something before we actually glue our servos into place. One is when on these control horns, you have to drill it out a little bit to get this uh, control rod to fit through there. The, the instructions recommend a 1 16th inch bit, but I actually was able to just hammer a little bit and get that uh, centered or get that pushed through. 
And the other thing we're going to do before we actually glue these in place, we're going to uh, configure the servos, hook them up to a receiver, and just make sure that everything is uh, centered. So as you can see, I have my FreeSky receiver wired up. I'm going to go ahead and turn on my transmitter and I'll show you the uh, how the servos are now centered. Because You definitely want to get your servos and control horns in the right position and you'll notice that I have a, a Elevon set up. The ele kind of a combined elevator aileron uh, set up since this doesn't have a separate elevator and ailerons and if you're interested I'm, I'm flying with the Turnigy 9X I'll post a follow-up video that actually shows uh, the configuration of that. So now that everything is nice and centered where we want it. We'll go ahead and uh, screw our control horns in and then uh, mount our servos with a little bit of CA and CA accelerator. Okay, now we're ready to glue our servos into place, but before we do, there's been a two-day lag with this build, mainly because I was using the default uh, servos that the Tough Wing came with, and they're actually Hobby King, I believe, HXT 900s. And what happened as I was trying to screw the control rod on, or the control horn, I actually stripped the gear and so the servo just ended up spinning 360 degrees. So they're definitely very fragile. So what I did is I went and did some research and I found these uh, high-tech HS55 micro servos and, and that's what I'm actually going to use instead of the Hobby King. And so what we'll do is we'll start with on the bottom side of your servo, we're just going to put some medium CA glue on there. It's a nice little amount. And then in your uh, servo mounting hole, let's spray some CA accelerator. And we'll go ahead and flip this over. Make sure everything is still intact. And we'll hold that down. And we'll do the same thing with the other side. Okay, next up we're going to install these winglets that are just going to be glued right there to the side of the wing. And what I'll do is once again I'll put some medium CA on here, some CA accelerator on the side, and then uh, hold those two together. And I've also sanded just this edge so that the glue will take a little better. I actually tried to draw an outline, a profile, but uh, it's hard to draw on this stuff. So we're nice and dry now. And I have to admit, I've never actually used CA Accelerator until this project, and I can say it's, it's pretty amazing. So uh, there's no way I could have done you know, this type of work without it. Okay, now that we have our winglets installed, I'm going to go ahead and uh, mount the motor. I've installed the motor bracket and the prop adapter. So we're going to go ahead and mount this on our wing. And as you can see, there's a little bit of the motor shaft sticking out, but what we can do is just go ahead and insert it and push it into the foam. And you can see our holes will line up, and then we'll just thread four screws in. All right, so we put the four wood screws in, and now the motor is nice and secure. So we'll go ahead and install the prop. Now our prop is mounted, and keep in mind on a flying wing, since the motor sits in the back, uh, you actually want the label of the prop, you know, this is APC, facing forward, because normally your prop would be up here. So just something to keep in mind. So, looks like everything's ready to go. I'll hook up the battery and then we'll uh, just see if all of our control surfaces and our motor work properly. Okay, so everything's powered up. We got our Elevon set up, configuration ready to go. And then we'll just try giving it a little power on the motor. Very nice. And one final thing that I want to point out is if you look at the electronics hatch, it's kind of crammed in there with the 2200 milliamp nanotech battery. 
And one thing that I'm going to do, I can do to conserve a little space is if you look, I have this free sky transmit or receiver that's pretty big. It's the uh, eight channel. Been using it for my multi rotor setup. So I have a kind of a small park flyer edition four channel coming that should definitely conserve some of the space in that setup. So that was the, all in all the tough wing 32 inch setup and it's been a great build. Really the only problem that I had as I showed you guys earlier was with these uh, servos using the the Hobby King servos that came with the kit. But for the money and just the quality of the build, I definitely recommend giving this Tough Wing 32 inch uh, flying wing a try. And I say all that without actually having flown it yet, but I'll do a couple on maiden flight and then post my results. So I hope that was useful. I know it was a rather lengthy video and post any questions or comments below. Thanks for watching.